hear me out. Can we please talk about how I I envisioned OJ Zeth? Okay. That was crazy, right? We were talking about, uh, oh, having a lawyer that has to lie for you mm -hmm. even though they know you're guilty. Yeah. And then he said, um, good job lying, hun. And then also that same day, the day before, we had talked about OJ with Accelerator. Yeah. And you were really? like, Zane brought up OJ and he was like, wait, is OJ dead? And I was like, no. <laughs> That's, and that was even crazier. But day. Stop. That was a crazy was insane. The, the thing is that 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 stuff that that content is not going to come out probably for another like month, but it's just crazy that it happened. Like that that conversation the happened before. the day before. How frequently do you normally talk about OJ? Never. never. That's what's weird. That never. is weird. That guy never gets brought up. In Especially my head. when you were like, "Is OJ dead?" Like, no. What is that? That's so raven. It's the future he can see. <laughs> That's so raven. <laughs> so mysterious to him. Yeah. Yep, <laughs> yep that's, that's me. me. Okay. <laughs> I loved that. Predicting. So raven. What else we got? <laughs> we, who do you, who do you guys want off the face of the earth? Stop. I, I got it. Can be more positive, like what we want. Versus yeah. What we don't want. Well, the thing here's the thing. I I'm manifesting bad people to go so like who's next on the rasta never wish ill on anybody's aim. i'm not wishing ill on anybody i'm just saying i have special powers i'm just saying that poof, i can't help going. Have. okay just, just just want to say that i don't want the, you think super you think superheroes want the superpowers that they have uh, no some are pretty arrogant <laughs> i'm not arrogant it. i'm <laughs> He I'm put real. himself in that category. <laughs> <laughs> you think superheroes want it? I don't I, want it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He's he's built different. I'm oh, humble about it. So fucking humble. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally told everybody that he took OJ out. It's just like <laughs> it's like the tenth time I've heard it. You know, didn't, you know OJ, right? Didn't <laughs> didn't a famous baby just get born right after he passed? Someone had a baby like day of. So uh, apparently reincarnation. <laughs> you know, reincarnation. Reincarnation. OJ went into another body. Do you guys believe in that reincarnation? I I do and I don't. I believe certain people get reincarnated. Whoa! Like if you believe it, what's like a good example that you think that like it happened? I don't know. I have like two different thought processes. Like either you were a bad person, and you have to make up for it in the next life. Whoa! Wow. Or if you, um died like prematurely and you didn't get to fulfill your like goal you're given like another chance wait i kind of like that approach i really like that one i think like i think babies that have perished deserve another chance yeah i was gonna say perish i don't know okay. i think that's a cleaner word right instead of like death know. or died i think <laughs> i killed oj <laughs> <laughs> i don't always believe in reincarnation but when i do kill flies or like a bug or something i'm like what if that was someone's grandma does anybody else think that way too? If, if you if you're if you get reincarnated to a bug, that means you were a horrible person. I know, in the past and life. I don't know if I actually even I don't actually believe in it, but it does cross my mind when I kill something. Oh, I don't think I do, but if I was to come back as another animal, I wonder what I would be. I'd be a stallion. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but my hair would be better, like better spirit. as on a horse than like what I have right, now. Right. I think God would want that for me. He's like, hey, we're giving you better hair. <laughs> The next afterlife, <laughs> Stallion. No, you'd come back as a wiener dog. <laughs> hey, oh, and I'd be right there next to you, baby. Come Look here, at that. buddy. Oh. Come here, Zane. That's our. Oh. That's our basically unfiltered mascot. Yes. Her name is what's her name? Rosie. What's Rosie. her name? <laughs> Rosie. She's a good. Is that the one that bit you, Jordan? Yeah. Damn, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, please do not. Jordan, no, 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 no. <laughs> that means you were bad in the past we can't life. Have a part two. Yeah. yeah. She just went through training. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Love okay, well, it's... while we pay little Rosie, we're going to roll the intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. Uh, oh, we, we, uh, by the way, we have a new, we have a new, uh, we have a new intro now. Be you. Be I love be you. It's like, be you, be who be you, you are. Oh, I forgot great. to show you the merch samples. Oh, let's see it. Oh, I just wanted to do a mock up, and then they were like, well, we have some samples here that are like tangible samples if you want to see them. So, I know I told you I'd give you like digital mock-ups, but since they were going to put them on the sweatshirts, okay. I figured just might as well. And you can be honest. Okay. 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 I'm Zane. I'm Eve. I'm Remy. I'm Alicia.
Okay, oh, I just, oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. So I really love doing graphic design and I really love designing merch. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Oh my God, sorry, I ran to my car. So um, yes, I, I took the liberty. I texted everyone. I was like, I know everyone's really busy. So if you guys want me to design the first merch piece, I will. And so this is it, everybody. Three, two, one. What do you think, Sadie? Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Wait. <laughs> oh, it is cute. Wait, I love that. <laughs> You wait. guys can be honest. No, wait, wait, wait. Be I you, love the be, be you. Be you, be pretty, pretty be, be unfiltered. unfiltered. Oh. <laughs> That's why you ran and got the merch. Be you. You guys can be honest. This is a joke. I think it's, wait, it's a joke? It's a joke. I, was, I thought you guys were going to talk shit when I left. Oh, thank God. God. <laughs> this shit sucks. Remy, you made it. You made it. I'm sorry. I got it. I was like, now. that, f- that it, fun, like, baby it's girl. It's Comic Sans. <laughs> But also, as soon as I saw it, I was like, Zane. Remy, Comic Sans. I, I knew his face was behind the, the hoodie. He was going this. like this. I, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come on. This is good, though. Be you, be pretty, Re- be unfiltered. Remy, I'm not going to lie. This, this is like, it's, it's so ugly. It's, it's ugly, but it's, it's and that's what makes it good, though. So <laughs> it, a couple it, it, years ago, I pranked Alicia and I made fake merch and I left the room and she was like, talking mad shit no she no, wasn't no she wasn't she wasn't she was just like she had this face because she, she you can't she can't hide her emotions and so i left I'm our best friend that. ollie with her and he was like alicia like what do you think she's like uh like she didn't want to say anything <laughs> bad but i thought i would do it to you guys too that's really Damn, funny that's awesome. you, you beat it too soon though i know i'm sorry i just got nervous that they thought that this was my real design <laughs> you're I like got, it's fine it's a joke i got nervous oh you were in on it too Damn. wow I'm that sorry. was good but they That's are kind funny. of cute in an ugly way. When you left, I was like, Remy's always like, you guys do so much for the pod. Like, let me take this over. It's <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I should have played more into he, it. That was set up so perfectly in their favor. The fact that we're like, be you, be who you are. And she's like, I oh know. my, like it was, pr- it, 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 I, I should have left the room. It's okay. It was good. Damn. That was really good. That was oh, funny. But God. honestly, like, I think we could eventually release this down the road. As he, like, I, no, he, yes, I, um, I, wa- I want this to be the first one. Just so you know. So when I made the one for Alicia, it was it, great. It was bright green. And it said, be you, be silly, be yourself with an infinity love sign. And everyone loved it so much and begged for the merch. Because I wear it to this day. Really? <laughs> and like, I it. think people might want this one. Let me know I, down below archival. and I will make it for you. Archival. Remy, Remy, I, I like ugly shit like that's like my thing i love like anything ugly for some reason so that's why i really like this. the comic sam really it really didn't good. seem like you liked it a few minutes ago I, no i didn't think it would be good for people to get for people <laughs> i don't think, for people, to right. spend I don't think money people would want to spend money but like now like i don't know this just it like hit me all at once and i was like oh wow i really like it because it's not serious it's a collector's but bo- item but boy it i thought is. you were serious i was like oh <laughs> I wish oh. they could have seen your face. I, I heard it in your voice. That's amazing. Good job, Remy. Thank that you was so really much. funny. Thank that, you. That makes me want to do a prank back. It's honestly like it's it's ugly, back. but it's kind of endearing. I went through a lot of iterations. Alicia didn't like my first ones, and I I really liked my first ones, but we ended on this. They weren't one. ugly enough. Who came up with the comic sans? Me. Oh, all her. Very good, Remy. <laughs> I didn't know this was a prank a prank channel. Uh, Pranks are now we're on open. a hidden camera show. I feel like Heath and I need to come back uh, with a hard hitter. We'll get it. We'll think yeah, of one. Just wait until they think they're going to Aspen. a ski trip. Aspen. Aspen. <laughs> Aspen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your flight. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a train. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a we have a special episode for you guys today. Um, I hate that you guys are looking at me right now. <laughs> we have a very special episode for you guys today. We thought. For this episode, we wanted to kind of focus on, instead of ourselves, mm-hmm. focus on you guys. Give mm. back. Give I back. Say. Give back to everybody watching. Give back to the years of just support that you've given to this channel. Of hours wasted. Yes. <laughs> we sent two stories on the Instagram that we have for you guys to send over questions and also um, different just situations that you're going through, either friendship situations, relationship bad roommate literally anything and then we got a few and we're going to go through them and we're going to give you our best advice because we've situation. been around the block and we've been through a lot of different experiences and i yes. feel that we are knowledgeable enough to give advice i agree i think we're so qualified here you i'm not sure what the questions are so i'm not going to say anything yet 
but I will answer honestly, and right. we'll go from there. I mean, they're. I mean, I think they're pretty standard questions. Should our okay. segment be called "Take It or Leave It"? Ah, oh, oh, save it, save it. When we get there, you've saved that shit. Save it, save it. All right, so uh, we're gonna go through. We're gonna go through all your questions. Yeah, let's do the questions first. We'll we'll get some answers out there, and then we'll do the advice. Or after. maybe it's a mix. Take maybe it or leave we it. don't know. Oh, all right, take it or leave take it. it. Wow. Take the branding. Wow. All right, Alicia, yeah, take it away. Answering your hot, spicy questions. Wow. This is from social underscore one nine. And if you wanted to be anonymous, I'm so sorry because you didn't <laughs> say that. Yeah. Does body count matter? I have an answer. Please. I have a quick answer. Take the floor. I don't think it matters. What number are we talking? Doesn't matter. Doesn't. Oh wow, that matters. Oh yeah, that matters. Okay. Um, I think I think when it's a concerning amount, and when I say concerning, I think like over a hundred is concerning. So you're slut shaming. I'm not slut shaming. <laughs> Ooh, got him. If I had a number count over a hundred, and she also had a number count over a hundred, I wouldn't care because why? Like that's just being hypocritical. But like, you're saying the gap between the two. I'm not gonna ask. And I'm not going to judge them either, but I'm definitely going to think about it for sure. I think it matters to people and it doesn't matter to people. So find yourself a person that it doesn't matter to wow. if it doesn't matter to you. And if it does matter and it means a lot, you will find somebody and attract somebody that it matters to as well. I, I, that was what I was trying to say. <laughs> I knew it. That's what I was trying to say. Wait, that was I think That's what I meant. That was crazy that his mouth is moving when I you know. were talking. He stole your answer. Yeah. <laughs> that what? is not what you <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, yeah, oh, that I was think, beautiful. I think if it matters to you, then it you, you would attract and be with somebody that it matters to as well. And if not, you're kind of going like... Everybody yeah. has different lifestyles and you'll find somebody that matches your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And you know, selfishly, I mean, if, if it's a, if it's a girl I really like, I probably wouldn't care. But you know, if it's a girl like, I don't know yet. And then she's just like 350. I'd be like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about you guys? I would say no. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think it's anything that matters to me in particularly. As long as um, we're being safe and getting tested, then that's all that matters. Yes. And yes, yes means, means test. test. And what, what means test? Yes means test. Yeah, we did a brand deal one time. Yes, about getting tested. <laughs> about getting tested. And staying safe. And the slogan mm. was yes, yes means test. Org. I think I want to say I don't care, but I think deep down it would make me a little like, if it was like a lot. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, I'm being very honest. I would be just a little... Just a little and then, like, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was being honest with you. It didn't sound like you liked You weren't convincing. What? No, I, like I, you liked I didn't know we were still debating. Was this for the fifth episode? I, I didn't know we were still in the judge I, fucking No, hats. I'm not trying to say it. Nobody's Where's wrong Where's my in wig? This. <laughs> this is, everybody has their own opinion. No, no. I no, just, no. I was called slush shamer. I what think, about her? No, there was a delicacy in her answer. It was very. It was honest. And that's why this is my last episode. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need any of you. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next that one, guys. That funny. was really fun. <laughs> wow, we only got one Off question. A, a sweaty wow. start. We have learned so much <laughs> my hypo about each other. Thyroid, what is this? Hyperthidrosis? Hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis is on a new level. Flaring up. It's flaring up. Girls, if you had to rebrand Zane and Heath, <laughs> what would you do? And have the boys... Do the same. And like looks wise, like who we are, like internet people, that. Yeah. Honestly, this question seemed more fun for you guys, for us, because I feel like you guys yeah, have yeah. all these ideas for us. You know what I would do if I were you? Post. <laughs> Stop. First, I would post. Good idea. Second, I would air out all the dirty laundry that you guys are keeping inside because from what you tell us, you guys keep a lot inside. And I think you could make an amazing drama channel. <laughs> That, the Plot thing twist. Is, They're she, a drama she's, channel. She's, he's, she's not wrong. Yeah, but it's like, I get it. I'm sure it would do well, but that's not who we are. We're not those people online. Not I'm not like I other girls. That, but I'm rebranding you. When, but like honestly, when I do, I see, I do see other channels that do it. I'm just like, damn. I mean, obviously, it's like the hot thing that people want to see. I am more like you guys. Like, I don't ever say anything, but like in a dream world of rebrand, I think it'd make a kick-ass channel. Oh, I think I, people would eat I, that up. I know, Thank you. I know. It's fun to think about sometimes. It's fun. Like I, I'm, sometimes I imagine Heath and I like having a show where we just really. Do, but, 
more bad than good. So we heard this was like years ago when like all the dra- drama channels were a huge thing <clears throat> that a, a well, it was like Gossip Girl, like a well-known YouTuber was one of the people behind one of the biggest gossip channels. No way. And just yes. uses a voice modulator. And just and used still a, does. Yes. Insane. And I was like, how much money have you made? Like, it was literally like Dan Humphrey. Wait, that's Whoa. that's genius. <laughs> His eyes Wait, are no, lighting up. <laughs> Crazy. He, what would your voice be? <laughs> hey, uh, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> just straight just Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I would want to do it like how they do on 60 Minutes. I want them to black my face out, like completely like <laughs> and shadowed like and then put like the deep voice. <laughs> yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I would want it to be like full blown mystery man. I'm so curious about this other girl that started one. How was she able to like grow her channel without like promoting at all on her own? Cause if she promoted on her own. The drama, like the drama. And she was one of the few of the big ones. I think it's still a big channel. And would post like the minute anything happened multiple mm. times a day, like was just, what, and you know is what? Is this like a secret that nobody knows it's her right now? No, I no think it's knows. still not a known thing. Yeah. I just remember but being, you know. we know, we know, but but nobody knows on the internet. No, no it's not a known thing. Wow. I That's know. Can you tell us after? I just, sure. you, you, I don't think <laughs> yes. you know her. I tried, I went on like a gossip site one time. I typed in Zena Heath, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what we got cooking up for us, baby? <laughs> Nothing. I was like, damn, no publicity is worse than bad publicity because that shit did not feel good. It did not feel good. I don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it was like this, this thing where I was like, I was like, woo, thank God. But then I, again, I was just like, damn, that's sad. <laughs> Are we in our flop era? It's just, it's just that, it's like that moment in the red carpet when the guy's just like, yeah, move go, it go, along. Go, go. Yeah. Okay, we've all been there. It's nice. You gotta hit a good. flop era to. I would to post. Rise. I would come out with fucking hats because it's all you guys wear. Yeah, Heath. I don't know why we haven't started. Well, We're should. so picky about our hats too. Okay, especially mm. me. That's how you know they'd be good hats. I can't find any hat that I like, and when I finally find one, usually it's in a vintage store and it's all crumbled up already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they need to Perfect. sell worn hats already, but vintage not- though. It's like. The factory is like putting it on mannequin heads and stretching it out. (laughs) The new hats, sometimes they're just like, it's too fresh. Like you need to like break it in and it takes Mm -hmm. like a month or two to break in. Oh wow. I want my hats to be broken in already. Already been worn hats. Yeah, but not worn by humans. ABW. Maybe that's something we can think about. But I know you like fresh hats, right? Yeah, I like that chick Chris. Still his. (laughs) Yeah, I'll give you mine after a month when I'm done with (laughs) it. You know, I ha- you know, I have a mannequin head where I put all my new hats on. Really? And I, I put it really tight and I'll put it on tight and let it sit there for like a month before I start wearing it. No, mm-hmm. you're very picky. It's, it's not picky. It's just it, they don't look good on my head until it's worn in. Interesting. Because I have an alien head. <laughs> <laughs> he, got the, he got that guitar pick. Yeah. <laughs> we just, I, se- I sent a side profile to Heath the other day. He's like, Zane, I... Never noticed this, but your your head looks like a guitar pick from the side because it was like a very <laughs> good, like funny. <laughs> I would never do that to him, but <laughs> well, maybe just some food for thought on the channels. That sounds great. That's cool. I don't have anything for you guys. You guys are like I can't even think of like a different way. You guys are doing exactly what you need to do. You guys are so true to yourself that your content is already like what it should be. But thank you. You, I would do. <laughs> Uh, a little bit more serious with the food. Okay. Oh. Outside of YouTube, like actual television, I mm-hmm. think would be really cool. I feel like you're really good and you could hold oh. your own series, like a Guy Fieri or something oh, like that. And Pete, be, thank uh, you, you. You have the personality to, to be on Food Network. <sighs> thank you so um, much. And I think that could be like a really cool step for you. That's a dream, but thank you so much. I have nothing for Alicia. Let's go to the next question. <laughs> I really, no, I wanted to read that one because I really wanted to hear your guys' is about us. Will you guys do a smoke podcast? Everyone high. I think a full so. pot or an episode? I could do an episode. Oh, episode. I think I could do a episode. few episodes. I can do a whole podcast. Yeah, I think yeah, episode. We've done it before. I think yeah. it's doable. I can push through it. I okay. think I think what's important is that you don't like, like for me specifically, I think smoking is much more powerful and that's what gets you like mute on a podcast, I do like little gummies and that'll get me high, but like I'm able to have a conversation. That's fine. We I just, think we any, just did anything. it. We just did a high episode a couple days ago and I, I had a little bit of a gummy and mm-hmm. I felt like I was talking more than a normal episode, mm. but I was high, which is crazy. Cause usually I'm like, I love a little drinky drink. We could push through one. I, I would, I would join. <gasps> Should we do the next episode? Yeah. Hi. For 420. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't oh. mean like immediately. <laughs> We're like, 
Next week. <laughs> Next week. Damn, 420 just passed, so we could have done it for That'd 420. Oh, no. Like the no. one excuse. Next oh. year. Next year. Oh, shucks. Next year. <laughs> All right, next question from Had to Be Karen. Would you date someone with kids? I would. I've thought about it. D- just date? Well, like, if you're, I mean, it's it, gonna have to go well, somewhere. I mean, I guess it's gotta go somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would, I mean, I think a first date would be fun with kids just to see how it okay. is. Well, <laughs> no, I, no, I, sorry, not with kids. No, I, 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 a date with, with kids. kids. <laughs> I, I know, I'm sorry. That was, you know, my fucking mouth. You won't meet the kids on the first date. I'm, it, I mean, it depends on no, the person. No, I don't mean meet the kids. I would go on a date with someone that has kids. A mother. To, to yeah. see how the date goes. Would you like be in a long-term relationship with some, and put, potentially marriage with someone who has kids currently? I don't know. It, it really it really has to depend on the person. I could see Zane. He's not this, you know, he's not a stepfather. He's a father that stepped up. Yeah. I, I love can see that. Him. I fucking Wait, love that shit. so good. I that love was that. good. I'm going to put that I in my, could, I'm going to put that in my Bert. Instagram bio. I could see Zane being really, really, really great with somebody else's kid. Heath, I, I'm going to make that happen just so I can change my Instagram bio. I'm not a stepfather. I'm a father that stepped up. <laughs> I think you'd be really good. Why would you say that? Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you think I'm, I would be good with my own kids? No, I'm just saying in this I just don't think I just don't think you'd get that far. That's why. Like I've seen you with like, our friends that have kids and they yeah. love you and they gravitate towards you and you're just really good with them. Thank you. Especially like like seeing you with like Noah. You're like, who the fuck oh. is Noah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a good I, I had, That was a little short term memory loss. My bad. <laughs> That was, that was a moment I just had. No, yes, oh. Noah. I love the kid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my favorite kid again. <laughs> no, I I, get no I I love him like my like he's my son, and I've only seen him like four times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Okay, Alicia, right. you would? Yeah, yeah. Not a deal breaker. Not a deal breaker. I I would for sure. Now I mean, would I be at like, this point in my oh, life. I didn't like you know when it finally comes up, I might be a little like, oh wow, like that changes a lot, but like not a deal breaker here is the question that i have did you guys watch season six of love is blind the most recent no. season Chelsea? I, I actually did one but. of the girls she has a daughter and she didn't bring it up until like they were about to leave the pod so for a couple weeks of like consistent dating which wow. granted that's different because it's love is blind but like at what point do you think that someone should bring up that they have a kid like on the first date do you think they should wait like a couple weeks or you don't I want think, to too soon. Late to I think first date because it's a very appropriate first date. Yeah. I agree. But you I can just subtly like, would, bring hiding, it up. You would be hiding it for a reason if you didn't bring it up. Yeah. Like, why are you hiding it? Yeah. If you thought it was something that you shouldn't bring up on a first date, then. And it's kind of a red flag, not in this aspect of like, oh, they're hiding something from you, but in the aspect of your child should be like your your priority for everything. So if we're like, we have a date for like an hour and a half, your, your child should be brought up, up at your, least one at time. At least once. Yeah. yeah. Agreed with that. Because I think her- her argument was that she didn't want to lead with it because I think it was like she, yes, her child is a priority, but she didn't want that to like define her, like yeah. just being a mother. So I understood that too, but um, I do think it's a, probably a really hard situation to figure out when to bring it up, but I do think the first yeah. date. And I think after talking or dating someone for a while and then they hit me with it, I, th- like, I think that hits harder to the point where I'd want to leave more That's than if you just told felt. me the first date yeah mm. because that gives me time to like take it in and then it, if you know if i want to pursue you th- because if i want to pursue you knowing that you have a kid then it's just easier it's like an easier like swift second day but just like a little bit later that's like yeah the guy yeah. Felt i say i say be open the deception yeah be you yeah. be open it feels deceptive be, you, mm-hmm. be open it does be you be pretty be unfiltered <laughs> <laughs> before we continue we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast rocket rx did you guys know that there's an easy way to have better sex I did because you guys could get trusted FDA approved treatments for erectile dysfunction at a lower price than branded alternatives. Delivered straight to your door in discreet plain packaging. No in-person appointments or pharmacy visits needed. It's better sex made simple. That's right. It's super simple. All you have to do is complete a 100% online quick and easy consultation now with no in-person appointment needed. Get a free online prescription from a real U.S. clinical team today. And you can start right now. It takes just two minutes. We also have a code today. Use code PXU for 20% off your first order. Terms and conditions apply. And thank you for making all of our boys happy. And girls. All right, what do we got? Next one. Okay. Um, 
This is from Rayanne, and she says, what is a guy's biggest non-sexual turn on in a girl? Oh, I got it. Easy. Go. Yeah. Eye contact. Yeah. Like eye contact, you know, like it, it does not leave. I like <laughs> it, when I'm on a date and she's it's, it's constant eye contact. Uh-huh. I, I have to look away because it's, oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, so yeah. intense, but it, it definitely turns me on. Seems like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Usually I look away, but I'm biting my lip at the same time. Just, <laughs> Ooh. Good um, answer. We said non-sexual. Non. <laughs> A scholar. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> a scholar. <laughs> uh, um, to me, to me, a sense of humor has always been the most important thing. Um, it turns you on, though? <laughs> not, not. Oh. He said not, not. Not, not. Who's your. <laughs> oh. I can't. Oh, okay. Um, good driving. Oh. Boy, when Mariah oh. backs that Jeep in, she'll back it up, girl. Yes. Okay, that's what makes you go. That's okay. Oh, man. This shit Perfect. gets me. She is so hot when she drives. I'm like, that's a damn. Her put editing that, right now. Put that seatbelt on. She'll just be whipping it. She's she cuts to her driving <laughs> for the clip. <laughs> yeah, 100% that. That was yeah. That's good. <laughs> He's thinking about his life. Yeah, li- there have been moments. <laughs> there have been days. <laughs> um, yeah, that's definitely number that's one. That's funny. Okay. I get the vibe that Heath doesn't really fuck with Alicia. <laughs> that's not a real question. Is that true? <laughs> that's not. They can read me like a book. <laughs> wow. I fucking knew it. That's, and that's why crazy. I kept it in there. I knew it. Damn. Knew it. They put me on the spot. So yeah. why do you why do you not fuck with Alicia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you address? Uh, the eye contact makes you uncomfortable. My outfits are horrendous. Turn Zane on. <laughs> your, your height. That's what I saying. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of things. And your you know, height. Just be just, honest. The check just, was way better. You were like, I'll just put up with it. Yes. Yeah. 100%. So uh, it's like I have to deal with it like a couple hours a week. Yeah, it's fine. And it is what it is. You know, we all... We all have coworkers that we don't like, mm-hmm. and you put up with them, and you just stay strong, and you just stick it out to the end of the day. But not me, though. That's right, baby. <laughs> and I'm glad that people watching can finally see that. We've been praying for someone to see that shit. <laughs> and not, it, that I, not that I hope somebody would catch it, but it is it is funny that it happened so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Quickly. Did I think ever, you're amazing. Thank you so I think much. you're people so are really funny good. Actually, no. <laughs> Stop. And we have to. People are gonna run about that. that. That's um, gonna get clipped on TikTok. Just that part. <laughs> um, no, I literally have no idea what they're even talking about because that's crazy. Um, I feel like we all have great energy, and I fucks with you. Yeah. Birthday twins. What? You yeah. have to. No, there, there is, there is something I want to bring up real, real quick. When people in the comments say that somebody doesn't like the other person in the same room, is crazy. On the fifth episode, we would never start a <laughs> podcast if one of us did not like each other. It's a crazy business move, and it's just a crazy thing to do in general. That means yeah. the commitment. It, it's you have exactly. You have to be very committed to do something like that. We all hate. We all. <laughs> These camera cuts. While he's just talking. (laughs) Yeah, but no, I mean, for now, we all like each other. Mm -hmm. For now. Mm -hmm. Watch your back. (laughs) No, sleep with one eye Um, open. No, that that makes me feel uncomfortable that somebody would even think that. Um, Should we we block them? Yeah, block them. Get them out of here. (laughs) Mwah. You love that reference. <laughs> oh, no, Mariah got me hooked. She does it all the time. Mwah. Was that, uh, was that you that just got that question? Or was that Zane that said that one? That was Zane. That was me. Okay, from Julie C. M. A. Most surprising thing about working with each other until now. Oh. Ooh. I mean, um. You. Oh. Oh, I think we're about to say the same thing. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck the, the you and the work, work ethic. The work ethic. The hustling. Insane. The, Yes. You reading the brand guidelines on a on a party bus <laughs> drunk as fuck. That was why I could yeah. not believe that. I like I the <laughs> fact that like we I I forgot that we ha- even had to do that, but Remy was like, everybody shut down the music, lower the music, we have work to do. <laughs> Read all the brand like guidelines that we had to do for what we were about to do in at Neon Festival and sh- and I was able to get it done. Because- we're hard. <laughs> See, nothing worse than, Just- than going and then 
you can't make up that time again, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys are hustleholics, and it's very inspiring um, to watch both of you guys work. And Heath, it's crazy because I don't think we still realize how much they post because there'll be times where I'm like scrolling through and I was like, oh, Remy posted three TikToks yesterday. And they're all like, yeah, heavily edited. <laughs> and I'm like, how does she have the time to do that? She has a, she has a husband. <laughs> she has dogs. It's crazy. I don't even get me started with you. It's, it's just, you got, I, I just don't, where do you find the time? Where do you find the time? We have a lot of help though. Yeah. Like a lot of help. I feel like we do too. <laughs> I think we just, it, it really is a mindset. It's a mindset. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. You guys it's are very mindset. driven. That was very kind. Thank, Thank you. you. We talk about you guys all the time saying how nice you guys are. Oh, good. No. I was like, no, no not, work, no, not, not hard work, no drive, <laughs> no drive or nothing. Well, no. Guys, no, well, you guys crush it in everything you do <laughs> and you make it look really easy. And we also are always just talking about how Fair. You really are so kind. Like, I, I always thought you would be nice, but you guys are exponentially nicer than I thought, than I ever thought you could be. And so sweet. polite. We keep like, saying you're so polite. Oh, my God, they're actually nice. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Like, you're good, nice. Do we people. give off, like, different vibes? Like A little. Your friends are all very nice, but some are just more standoffish than others, and you Ooh. guys are, like, the mm -hmm. nicest out mm -hmm. of everyone. I feel like we're definitely, like, two of the most personable. For very sure. warm oh, for, and very, uh, yeah, uh, personable. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I'm very personable like i feel like i could be a little standoffish but i guess i see what you guys are i think you're really nice i think in the right moment i can mm -hmm. be very um yeah <laughs> where's my hug <laughs> where my hug at <laughs> where my hug at i get it thank you that's really nice that was of course. nice thank you guys i needed that we are not driven though so <laughs> yeah. we gotta work on that you said you posted four times so uh, four times uh, four. and the vlogs i told you the i vlogs. love the vlogs the trying. costco vlog jordan so, so good, good. That apple fritter, I want one. You made apple that. fritters? No, we went to this place that's um, by my house. It's like a donut thing. shop. They have um, really good homemade apple fritters. And I'm Damn. not even an apple fritter. Wait, person. apple fritters are like the do the donuts? Yeah, it's yeah. like a like a donut pastry type thing with like bits of <laughs> it's apples. It's so in good. It. The moan. <laughs> Donuts are like my, like, I know I love cake and ice cream and donuts. cookies, but like donuts, like it hits, like it's something where I forget about. It's like, it surprises me yeah. when I'm not expecting it. Mm -hmm. Old fashioned. Donuts are my number one fave. Yeah, the old fashioned. Mm -hmm. A sidecar donut. Have you tried? What is it's a sidecar side donut? Sidecar? You've never tried sidecar? No. <gasps> Don't say it. She'll bring it next week. I will be bringing them <laughs> next I'm, I'm like a sucker for donuts. Yeah. Like donuts are. They make them fresh in front of you and they're like these beautiful artisanal, like amazing different flavored ones they're so good I'll bring is it better than Krispy Kreme uh in a, a different hot. way but like nothing will be Krispy Kreme okay I also tried a new spot called Spud Nuts I've heard of that they're made with potatoes it's potatoes. a potato donut it's donut? unbelievable is it good yes Ooh. it's got to be healthier for you I don't know but they're uh, really good okay it's called Spud Nuts there are so many donuts also Mochi Nut I love oh, mochi god. Nut. Yeah. The texture. I'm going to bring you salt. He, you are slowly sidecar. getting into the kawaii world. Look Woo! at you. K-pop, no. mochi. Mochi nut is, a, is Zane. And I like that they're, they're beverages. They come in like a clear can. With the little lid. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. We Very should go aesthetic. to Asia together. We should. <laughs> yes, I want to go to Japan again so We're bad. going next We're month. We're going. Come with us. What, when? I don't know. She booked it. I did book it. I'll <laughs> tell you the dates after. Ethan and I might be going to Budapest. Oh, Egypt, Ooh. India. For what? Top secret. Oh, secret <laughs> stuff. Top secret. <laughs> it's just, it's just secret stuff. All right, let me see what we got here. Zayn and Alicia give off vibes they've hooked up before. Is this true? Next. We can go Let's to the next, next question. question. Okay. Oh. Okay. This one is from Nicole Nunez. Um, if social media ever disappears, what would you do for a living? Ooh, ooh. go. Like realistically? Yeah. yeah. It all ended tomorrow. Like, where are you going? What's your, wh where's your talent going? I could see me being a music teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, the drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that could be cool. Yeah, yeah for like nice. kids. The party ends tomorrow, right? Sure. Yeah. And are we allowed to like start a new business? Like, do we, do yeah. we lose everything or is it like? Y yeah. Uh, social media is, uh, you can't like. Okay. You can't use social media to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're uh, like following to get another thing. Yeah, like, my real answer something... would be like consulting brands, but right. without that, I would be like music teacher. Like right. what you got? Yep. It, like what you got in here that like 
you can do that is social media or just go. I would open up a breakfast restaurant. <gasps> Love that. Ooh. We've been saying that for the past. That's always my been dream. a dream of mine. That's mine and Cal's dream too. Really? Like yeah. a cafe or like more like a diner? Really, really kind of quaint diner where it's in a small town. Not that many people go there, but it's the same people all the time. Like the Regular. waitresses have missing teeth. Like, hey, y'all. Like that type of like very like authentic. <laughs> yeah. Or is it more like upscale? Like a- no Same's one there every me. day. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, well, I'll be putting applications. Are you kidding me? Um, do you remember Miriam's? Yeah. Something like that. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't want to go a little bit more upscale than that? No. <laughs> he said, you don't I mean, want to reach shit, for the I mean, stars. That shit was like, I think you can make it look a little better. It was amazing that. food. Check this out. This breakfast spot we used to go to literally every week. You yeah, would they get, served it on like styrofoam plates. Exactly. And that's what made it special. And that's yeah. how they kept their costs down. You could get bacon, eggs, a bagel, a side of coffee, and like, like literally everything for a breakfast, and it was like seven bucks. Damn! Wow. How are the potatoes? Amazing hash browns were were banging. Uh, the food's okay, really yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It was really so good. cheap, and I was just like, every time you'd walk in there, they'd be like, "Hey, good to see you. How we doing?" And I just loved being in there. It just made me so happy. Um, I would. Love, I can so see that. I would love to have that. I've always wanted to do that too, because Cal really loves making cocktails, and I love cooking. So we're like, what if we opened up a little cafe brunch situation we could run you know a mimosa yeah. flight and some eggs benny or mimosa flight. for myself i would like to be a marine biologist i knew you were gonna a okay. marine biologist wait 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 real quick hear me out you want to go have these on a breakfast restaurant Absolutely. think of the um chipotle version but for breakfast <gasps> and you start with the scramble bowl and you go down the line and add Fuck. in bacon bits sausage onions Whatever you want. I That's love a really that. good idea. There is no like quick breakfast joint. Yeah. And we could do like a Crunchwrap Supreme, but breakfast oh. style. Yeah. Like on the line. Yeah. yeah, you could have like whatever a base breakfast you want. breakfast taco. If you wanted to have right. that. Yeah. That's really good. I'm in. That's a good idea, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in. No one steal it. Hey, yeah, sharks. Don't take it. Hey, hey sharks. sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I always have a hard time like with breakfast. If I don't feel like making something for breakfast, ordering it is so difficult or like- mm -hmm. If you don't, especially on a time crunch, a lot of people like, I feel like there's, there's mi something missing other than like a quick bagel, mm -hmm. yeah. like a bagel sandwich mm -hmm. is like, mm -hmm. it's, it's not personal enough. You don't have like enough to it, mm -hmm. but something to grab on your way to work, swing through something quicker. Mm -hmm. What would the base be but for your little bowls? You could do like egg white scrambles. Yep. You potato. could do regular egg scrambles. Mm -hmm. You could throw potato bits in it. Um, like all, pretty, like all a, of us not yeah do a, bit, <laughs> like a, a like biscuit, a mashup a biscuit you could do uh yeah there the options or like are a, or, or a wrap and you would build your own like br breakfast burrito uh, like yeah. people love breakfast burritos why not go and like DIY it and yeah. you know like like you know those like personal hash browns you don't get them anywhere but like McDonald's Person imagine putting out. a single hash brown into your breakfast burrito. Oh, so just, yeah. Okay. 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 Can we do a breakfast cooking with Remy, please? Wait, should I have you guys come over for a breakfast yes. when, I, when I'm going to do Remy's restaurant? Do you guys yeah. like breakfast food? Okay. Can we, do it, can we do it like on a Saturday so we yeah. can drink and then go out after? Yes. Oh, Absolutely. Brunch. Saturday fun day. I've been wanting mm -hmm. to do a Remy's restaurant for you guys. Okay. Perfect. I love breakfast. Like, in conclusion, I love the ocean and I would like to learn about it. <laughs> What's your favorite sea animal? What a beautiful question. I really like <laughs> narwhals. <laughs> really? Oh, they're yeah. They're, they're, really they're, they're unique. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've been recently learning a lot about giant squids also. And did you know all dolphins are whales, but not all whales are dolphins? I did not know that. Wow. Did not know that. Yeah. Wow. Fun fact of the day. I believe the whale <laughs> kingdom is split into two. <laughs> and then within there, the dolphins fall under one Got of those. It. Keep oh. it juicy yeah. for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. We can cut all that. <laughs> no, it's no, it interesting. Spicy questions. <laughs> it was interesting. What do you think about Jacques Cousteau? Jacques <laughs> <laughs> If you had to pick Cal and Jacques Cousteau, who would you pick? Cal. Okay, okay. <laughs> but he's going to take you down. Un he's going to take you down to the Titanic. Down under. He's going to explode him death. I <laughs> wish we had this podcast during the... Um, Ocean Gate? Yeah. <laughs> That was crazy. But you had a lot of had a lot of thoughts on that. It was just crazy keeping up with it at the time. It was. <laughs> Would you go down there? No, absolutely not. If you had, imagine that never happened. Like it wasn't like dangerous to go down there, but you had the opportunity to go down to the Titanic. Would like you they do could it? guarantee that I wouldn't die. Yeah. 
If they well, no, no, not no. I mean, you can't guarantee anything. If Ocean Gate didn't, it happen. was definitely safer. Like it was not like as. No, because the Titanic doesn't perplex me. I love the Titanic. Really, I'm yeah. not a Titanic girl, but I would you go shit. down? <sighs> Realistically, like I don't think I would, but like I would love to think I could. Would you say you like the lore of sinking ships? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to use Laura in a right, correct no, you point. Didn't. I did? <laughs> you Fuck did. yeah. It was so smoothly too. I wasn't sure why you were laughing. Oh, I was yeah. laughing because I thought I used it wrong. The Laura. No, it was good. Wow. <laughs> okay, what would you do? Um, I would probably I would probably edit. For like movies? Um no, I would edit for I'd probably edit commercials. Ooh. Commercials like and not like TV or movies or anything okay. like that. Like commercials and trailers that like short form super bowl commercial or so yeah that so fun. like that to, that to me is like fun that's yeah. like to me that's I could easy see you doing that i love it oh okay this one's like more asking advice but layla is wondering when a guy says he's into you but he's not ready for a relationship but he keeps treating you like his girl what do you do cry it sounds like he's stringing her along and he has somebody else in the pipeline you know what i always was told being a back burner girl, like keeping you in the back on low, mm -hmm. so, and then mm, while summer, he's cooking something else. Summer. Either, either, yeah, having either something cooking or Ooh. waiting for something better to be cooked Damn. on the front burner. So that's not a good. It's not a good situation. No, for, no, right? no. Okay. you don't want to be Damn, a back burner. Damn, your green girl. beans over there while he's heating up that filet <laughs> mignon. Filet <laughs> mignon. <laughs> Boy, you that little mashed potato on the side. Hey, you ate with that. You mm. ate with that shit. <laughs> you eating too? But you, the way you started, it sounded good. No, it's a bad thing. Okay. But like the way you started, it was like, oh, I was like, oh, she, okay, she's on the back. What oh, she's being cooked up. Quick, what is the appropriate amount of time to ask somebody to be your girlfriend and make it official? I think there's a feeling that like comes. I it's all I, I don't think it's like time or anything has like, to do with it. Like when are you like, oh my gosh, I'm expecting it and he's just anything not more it. than three months, I'd be like, flag. I would say, yeah, three really? months is yeah. probably Damn, good. three months is like a long time. Like day, right? Dates. You guys are going on dates. Exactly. It's a long time. So that, like if yeah. there's still nothing then. And you're talking every day. Yeah. Like you're damn near. I mean, yeah. look, I'm taking a girl on a fourth of the day. We are boyfriend girl. That's like, it, it, that's mm -hmm. a lot. That's like th three months is a long time. Cause in that my head, be like three weeks, it's a, every, every week is a date, right? Every week would be like one day. I mean, it depends on schedule too. What if you're traveling or. I think it just depends on the situation. Does she want advice? Flying to Bora Bora. When a guy says he's into you, but he's not ready for a relationship, but keeps treating you like his girl. I think you break it off. Yeah. Yeah, right? because it makes him, it lights a fire under his ass. Also, this is where I think communication comes into play. Be like, hey, we've been seeing each other for a while now. I'm going to be open. I really like you. I would like to make this official. I hope you feel the same way. And... Gauge the reaction. But then it's hard because the girls do that and then they're too much or they're too needy or they're like, well, well we like what we have going on, you know? <laughs> if, and I then think that's, the, that's your answer, though. Mm -hmm. there but is most no girls don't want to hear that, so they're like, why bring but it that's up? That's the thing. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. That's where you kind of got to be like honest with yourself and be like, if you really want the answer, you have to be ready for the answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if it's not the answer you want, Walk away. it might hurt, but get out of it. Yeah. yeah. I was in a situation like this for almost a year and... Every time I would muster up the courage to ask, I wouldn't get the answer that I wanted. And then I would convince myself that was the answer that I wanted. Mm. <laughs> and then I would just stay. He loves me. Yeah, he's obsessed <laughs> with me. He just like doesn't want to tell me right now. Oh, so I think so nervous. if I could give advice. Um, <laughs> he's just enjoying the dating phase so much. He doesn't want to leave it. <laughs> he's just like the, in the honeymoon phase. He doesn't want to like get it and take it anymore. <laughs> I think just be honest with yourself. That's the best advice I could give. Yeah. Because baby girl, you don't deserve to be. The back burner girl. Mm -hmm. You are more than a side of corn. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, you are more than just a simmer. You are the mm. 12 ounces of Australian Wagyu. <laughs> yeah. dollars an ounce. Exactly. <laughs> and if he's going to get upset or like say you're too clingy, that means he has another girl on the side. There's another girl he's talking to. There's, mm. there's definitely... Girls lined up for there sure. There are cues. <laughs> Zane yes. just saying he was about to be in his fuckboy era. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, you're up. Oh, I'm up. Okay. <laughs> this is from underscore Annabelle Payne. Very appropriate last name for this question. <laughs> How to deal with friends who still hang out with people that have hurt you. Mm. I feel your pain, girl. 
depends on how close you are with the person. Like if somebody does something like really wrong to somebody you're really close with and you see them in a different light and you're like, wow, that made them a really shitty person. I feel like it's kind of on you to to make that decision. But then it's also like you can hear something like small or whatever where they did something. You're like, well, they haven't really done anything to me, so I don't really feel like I can now, you know, cut them out. Um, I don't know. It's a really tough situation. I feel like it depends depends o- on, on the, the situation severity. and like what they did to the person. Yeah, for sure. I think it's very situational. Like if, if someone did something really dirty to Heath, I probably wouldn't talk to the person anymore. I, it doesn't interest me to talk to the person anymore. Yeah. It doesn't behoove me. It doesn't behoove <laughs> me. It doesn't, there's no point in me furthering that relationship yeah. with that person. Because it's not doing anything for for my friendship with this kid, but I know it's annoying him probably a little bit. I don't yeah, want that. Yeah, you have to put yourself in the other person that got hurt's shoes, mm-hmm. you know? Because yeah. like what if they did that to you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you hurt him. You hurt both of us. And always remember, hurt people hurt people. Hurt yeah. people hurt people. Yeah. And in conclusion, I agree. Yeah. I right? Mm-hmm. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> this comes from Steph the Wreck. If you find a vibrator in a Ooh. married man's truck, Ooh. is he cheating? Uh, um, what kind? Depends on what he <laughs> what he's doing with the vibrator. Is he using it on himself <laughs> or someone else? Okay, that is the question. He's either, it's clearly not that ladies. I would assume it's. I think it's similar. It to sounds if I found like it's a, a female one. I would. I would assume it feels like if I were to find a pair of lashes in Cal's car and well, they're not my lashes. I think they're cheating. Is he yeah. cheating? Yeah. I mean, when it, when it comes down to it, yeah, it's hundred uh, percent guilty until proven innocent in that situation. Hundred percent. Oh, and trying to have him to come up with excuses. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would I love to. I would love to there. see it. <laughs> baby, baby, I was bringing it home to bring to you yeah. 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 as a birthday gift. Why are you snooping? I told you uh, this is why I don't get you presents. Oh my god! And then you gaslight it. The gaslighting. Oh no! This is why I don't get you anything because you. you <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh boy. Yeah. I mean, I would. I mean, is it in the pack still? Is it like out? Yeah, Has it yeah, yeah. Is it used? Does it have uh, it, it? Does it have decreases on it? If it's not in a box wrapped up like a gift with a bow on it, then it's with cheating. your name, with in my name bag, on it, in a yeah. in a shopping bag. And then if it is yeah. for you, receipts. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. it's a lot. Oh I god! Don't know. And even when you do, even when you do have the, it's like it's still tough. It'll never get out of your head as a girl. Like, what was actually? Happening? If you found that in Cal's car, you wouldn't be like what also the f- married. Like that's another like. Oh, I yeah, married. married. No, yeah. I trust Cal a lot. I wouldn't be. St- stupid about it but i would also i would trust him if he had a good excuse what would your first thought be what the fuck is this <laughs> and then i would let him explain but i do you, trust you him know i so guess you remember doing if he's like oh baby's for myself i was like okay go use it use it <laughs> right now right now <laughs> right now right now <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Boy, to save that relationship. I would. I want to see. Save that. Let they would be sitting on it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Man, what a sight to see, though, in that situation. Zane, Zane. now bounce. <laughs> no. How do you? <laughs> Let's see the settings. Let's see the settings. <laughs> Highest settings, go. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. It's a good scene. Uh, a- I would I would trust him. I think I would trust him, depending on how good the excuse is. Knowing Kyle, I'd probably trust him, too. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, this is a really good question. Oh, go ahead. This is from arc14.15. Friends don't approve, parentheses, it's, it's toxic, but we love each other and can't stay away. What do I do? Uh, mm, that's, that's a tough A eight. really good question. I think she needs to really evaluate the relationship first with this toxic. But they're and see. open about it being toxic, knowing that it's a bad relationship. Yeah, which is good that they're being open. Like, they are aware. Yep. Which kind of makes it worse, though, because if, if my friend knew it was toxic and still chose the guy over me, I'd be like, bye. You know? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I if mean, I'm like, hey, our friendship depends on this. Like, he's not good for you. And then she's like, okay, bye. I don't care. He's to- we're toxic. And I'm like, fuck. Oh, is, is is this person choosing between like the friends? They're just saying, what do I do? Like her friends are like 
this is bad. We don't want to be around. Whatever. Oh, I'll be around him. So, oh, so there's a clear separation. Okay. It's basically a, you know, a, Who pick, do I a pick one. Then she's going to have to, baby girl, you're going to have to balance that shit out. If <laughs> like, if you really want to stay with him, but you really want to keep your friends, you're not going to have to, you can't be together while you're with your friends. So you're really going to have to balance it out. Or just, just gonna, come to your friends and be like, Hey, I'm aware mm, of the situation. Please. Yeah. Like you can be here for me and love me from a distance, but I need to experience this. Okay. I will say this too. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm a guy, but a lot of people have issues when they get into a relationship and their friends, like you, you stop seeing your friends as much. Mm -hmm. People get really hurt and worked up by that, but that's something that has never bothered me ever. Like if one of my friends got into a relationship, I'm like, makes sense. I'd rather spend time with my girlfriend too. Mm. And it's never, it's never been something where I'm like, if I liked them or didn't like them, it was just like, I get it. I'd do the same. And none of my friends were ever like that towards me. So, I don't know. Like, I feel like the whole dating process is finding the person that you're going to be with for the rest of your life. And obviously, like, your friends can be there forever, too. It's like, it's going to be your friends. But, like, you're not making a family with your friends. You're not, you know, trying to pursue the end of your life with them. So, I don't know. It's just never, I've never really like understood that thought process. If that makes sense. Yeah. When they, when they like cut ties with their friends, like completely. And then when that ends, they, they, they run back. back and it's like, Hey, what are we doing today? And it's like, well, they're not going to be free for you now because you were never available for them. I think I agree what you're saying, but like in the end of the day, I think there had just, I think it has to be a balance for everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, I mean, if you're living with your girlfriend, your wife, or the, you, you, you are spending 99% of the time with them, of course. But I think it's always good to like reach out to your friends or like hang out with them. Yeah. Like I always, like, I always check up on my friends and like, yeah. like that people sounds from healthy. back home, yeah, you it's, know, like it's, it's important like, yeah. like on car drives. If I've got like 20 minutes, I'll call like one of my boys from back home or I'll call somebody just, I'm not the best texter and I can't like, I literally cannot hold the text conversation because it's just. It's so time consuming and I constantly have to be like this. Mm -hmm. So I just like, hey, just thinking about you. How you doing? What are you up to today? Oh, I'm just hanging out. Catch up. All right, cool. Hey, dude, love you, bro. Good to talk to you. I'll hit you again. And I've always been the person that like, I don't need to see my friends all the time. We always just pick up like wherever we left off. Um, yeah, we always just like pick up wherever we left off. So it's never, I don't know. But I think to answer the question as honestly as possible, if this person is who you truly love, you can't stay away, then be with him. If you guys, if you think it's toxic and you still want to stay with him, go for it. Your you're friends, in your toxic your friends, Your friends are your friends and they might not support who you're with, but if they support you, then they're your friends. And obviously I'm sure there's conversations that have been had, but it's like, hey, I don't like this person for you, but I love you. And if you're happy right now, but just know what the situation you're in. And I think that's pretty much it. But if you yeah. love him, stay with him. Yeah. I think piggybacking off of that, it depends, it depends how, how, like how toxic is it? Like what is the toxicity level? Is it like really bad? Obviously like there's a, a spectrum to it, but I think what you just said is so true, but then you can't go and complain to your friends. Yeah, I, you're yeah I don't want to hear about it. Yeah. You want to do that? Sure. Yeah. I don't want to hear about it though. Yeah. yeah, I think it just, it's, it depends. But overall, if you're going to stay with them and your friends are supportive of you, that's fine. But then you need to find other people to go and vent to about the problems yeah. or vent to about mm -hmm. the issues or anything. Your friends. Because you can't, you can't go to them anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. very vocal about that. When somebody comes to me with the same problems about like a girl from Florida, I... I'm very blunt with them. I'm like, I'll give you cannot my opinion, talk to me about and it. then if you ask me you again, what, because when it's like the tenth, twentieth time, I, I, I cannot sit there and like be fake about it. Like I, I want, I, I'm usually pretty honest. I'm like, hey, look, we've had this conversation maybe twenty times. It's the same thing. You obviously want to keep dealing with this. I cannot help you out. Wow. Yeah. 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 Agreed. Girls will just sit there and listen like it's new information. No, and it's good. Every time. And I feel, I feel <laughs> like did what? It's, no, it, <laughs> what? You know, it's, like, it's a different world for girls too when it yeah, comes to that. You know, for so sure. for sure, I get it. <laughs> because usually the guys are the most toxic ones. <laughs> I get turmoil. it. I get it. I it's get the it. Yeah. Most of the time, most of the time, I get it. Go get him. Get your boo. Yeah, get your toxic boo. Is. Okay. Come on. <laughs>
Shall we wrap it up? Yeah, let's yeah. wrap this shit up. Thank you for tuning into our first ever Q and I here on Basically Unfiltered. Well, we got through eight take questions. Take it or leave it. Woo! Take it or leave it. <laughs> we I looked was, at you. Like, I was waiting for Alicia yeah, yeah. to say, "Oh, oh my bad, my something bad. maybe," or take it or. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much for sending in. <laughs> Can't force those things. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Should we have um, the conversation like a side conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Also, if you made it to the end of this episode, I feel like they should comment maybe hmm. toxic waste emoji. Yes. You're a skull, so right. the skull emoji. The skull emoji. For toxic. I just like seeing who stays to the end. Did the, you take it or did you leave it? <gasps> That's actually really good. Mm. Our next a, merch We should perhaps? do an advice segment like that. We should, we should do an actual advice one. We should. I'm like, will it be good? No idea. I have so much, so much advice to give. So much more to give. <laughs> so much to give, and I, I want to, I want to share it with the world. And comment Allegedly. down below if you want a piece of merch for yourself, because maybe I'll make some, and maybe I'll send them out to you. There we go. You never know. Because when you're Not in these hoodies, baby. About it. <laughs> because yeah. when you're in these hoodies. <laughs> Me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to be, be you, be pretty, and, and be unfiltered. unfiltered. See ya. <laughs> Next Thursday. <laughs>